Hello, Facebook. Happy Friday. It's Friday Night Live again. I don't know why it always ends up this way. I swear I don't plan to do all of my lives on Fridays, but that's just how it ends up working out. So anyway, I'm Ashley Samadani. If this is the first time you're seeing one of my lives, I would love for you to either say hi if you hop on live or put a hashtag replay in the comments. I would love to see who watches this so I can say hello. Hey, Kara, happy Friday, friend. All right, you guys, so this live is gonna be a little bit different for me. Normally, I share all things mom life, healthy living hacks, um, gosh, mindset stuff, but I also know that I have a ton of friends here on Facebook who are mompreneurs, female online entrepreneurs, you're building a brand and or a business, hopefully both together here in the online space. And so I did wanna hop on and give just some tips for when you're trying to really scale that business, some daily success habits that you might want to adopt. I see Rose is on, hello, hello. Um, let me just look at my notes real quick while we wait for some friends to hop on. I don't know uh, what you're doing Friday. I hope it's just as wild and crazy as my Friday night apparently happens to be. Let me know what you're doing um, this weekend or tonight in the comments. Are you hanging out at home uh, with your family or solo or with your dog or cat? Or are you going out? What are you doing? I would love to know. Lindsay, thank you. This is a shirt that I got like three years ago. These are not in style anymore. I realize it, but I didn't want to go full on tank top. And I also didn't want to go like long sleeve or full sleeve because it was a little hot today. It was almost 90 here in Sacramento. So I thought this was a happy yet unstylish medium. Kara says, drinking wine and watching movies. Awesome. Hi, Carrie. Thanks for hopping on. All right. So my question for you is, because I am speaking to you if you answer yes to this question. So are you someone who is building a business in the online space? Are you... Um, you know, are you in network marketing? Are you a realtor where you're marketing yourself? Are you a coach? Are you building a brand around yourself or building a brand online? If you are, put a raised hand emoji in the comments because I am talking to you this evening. Um, I do think though that these success tips don't hop off yet if you're not building an online business because the first three tips I'm going to give, I think are success tips for anyone's daily routine. I would highly recommend these success tips to anyone. Hi, Carrie, hi, Biz Bestie. <clears throat> As I choke on my, hold on, Xavier break, you guys. All right, so I see a couple of fellow female online entrepreneurs. Very exciting. So again, I'm talking to you all tonight, but don't hop off because I know these first three tips are gonna apply to basically anyone. Are there things that I think can apply or benefit everyone's daily life. All right, so number one, and first of all, thank you guys for watching. I know it's a Friday, and if you're watching by replay, also thank you for taking your time to hang out with me. It really does mean a lot. So uh, number one, first daily success habit, and this is gonna sound like duh basic, and maybe it is, and maybe these are just reminders, but I know these are reminders that I've needed in the past and really need every day. And so I hope that if nothing else, these will serve as good reminders for you too. So number one is making time for you, girlfriend. So making time for you is my number one daily success habit. And I know it's like, oh my gosh, I'm so busy. I've got, I've got kids, I've got a full-time job, I'm a single parent, whatever it might be, we're all busy and some of us are more busy time-wise than others, I get it, but you have to take time for you. Whether that's, and I'm not talking about two hours to like go to the spa, I'm really talking about even five or 10 minutes, but every single day, you need to make time for you to connect with your heart, to provide yourself with that self care. It's so important when you're building an online business, particularly if you're building a brand around yourself, you are your most important asset. And if you're not taking care of yourself and you're not providing yourself that self care, you can't pour from an empty cup and you need to fill yourself up. So that's my number one daily success tip. So I would love to know what you all do. Those of you who are building a business online, what do you do for your daily self care or do you not? daily self-care and 
no judgment zone here. Ashley says, we don't have time, we make time. Amen. That is right. And when you think of self-care and taking time for you as a daily success habit, you will do it and you won't feel guilty about it. At least that's how it is for me. Um, I didn't, I feel like I skimped out on self-care and I was just feeling, feeling the burnout. And when I go through those periods where I don't take that time um, to, to take time out for myself, I'm not as effective as a business person. I'm not as effective as a wife or mom. So it really is kind of a foundational piece. So for me, that looks like really my, my workouts. That's my time for me four to five days a week, usually like four days a week. Um, and sometimes just a bath, like a 10, 20 minute bath, listening to a podcast or just chilling out, having a glass of wine, whatever it might be, but just something so that you're, you're putting yourself, you're putting yourself, yeah, I guess really first because you're taking care of yourself so that you can serve others, right? If you're building an online business, you are all about serving others with either your product, your service, your opportunity, your skill set, whatever it might be. And so you really want to put yourself first and prioritize giving yourself some self care. Okay. I can't wait to read through. I see these comments coming in with what all you do to put yourself to make your, to make time for yourself. All right. Um, number two is somewhat related. And again, this can apply to anyone, not just my fellow female online entrepreneurs or male online entrepreneurs. Although I don't know if I have a ton of guys that watch my lives, but if you are, this is for you too. So growth and personal development. So I've always heard it said, and this is not a quote for me, but your business will only grow as much as you do. So mindset and your, um, your personal growth is so integral to building a business online, particularly again, if you're building a, a business around yourself as a brand, if you have lots of different things going on, you're a multi-passionate person, like I know so many of you are, um, and you're, you're about adding value to the people that you're speaking to and to the people that you're serving, growth and personal development is huge. Absolutely huge. So prioritizing, um, and that can look so many different ways. That can look like, uh, you know, reading a personal development book. That can look like just doing some self reflection and then maybe even sharing that with your audience or your followers or your readers. Um, that can look like so many different things, particularly, for example, this live. Let's take this live, for example. Um, I, I'm in a group with, uh, that's like a coaching group with Ray Higdon and he always talks about this concept of invest, learn and teach. So taking some of your personal development time, investing that time, learning something, developing yourself in some way and then teaching or sharing and providing that value. So personal growth and development, that is going to that's going to enrich you as a person so that you can then pour that out into other people and add value in the online space, add value to the people that you serve. So growth and personal development for so many so many different reasons is definitely a daily success habit that I would highly recommend, especially if you're trying to scale up your business. You can't skimp out on that. I know sometimes I got into a season where I was like, just give me all the business strategies. Like, let me learn about Pinterest and let me learn about this and that. And I pushed growth and personal development to the side, but my business was suffering because I was just all about the technical business side and I wasn't growing as a person and I wasn't able to provide as much value. I had like the technical skills and tips and tricks and that's all well and great, but what's going to attract, you know, clients, business partners, customers, and all of the things to you so that you can serve them is really going to be the value that you provide as a person. And that makes you stand out online. So again, personal development and growth, I would recommend for every single person, on the face of planet earth, not just for people building an online business, but certainly if you're trying to scale an online business, please friend, don't skip that piece. If you're interested in the kind of like personal development books, podcasts, all the things that I personally have read over the last mm, year, I think it's up to date to a year. Um, if you could drop hashtag PD for personal development in the personal development in the comments, so hashtag PD, I will send you a link. I put them in like a category on my Amazon page called per personal development. Shocking. And it literally has, I think, 
maybe minus a couple podcasts, every single book that I've read over the last year or listened to. And I would love to send that to you. I'll literally just message it to you. John Pennington says, PB, okay, John, I got you. I knew I would have a male online entrepreneur on here. Hey, John. All right, so then number three is sort of related. And this could, again, this is really for anyone who is professional in any capacity. I don't care what it is, like literally anything that you do. Number three, daily success tip is to do something to improve your knowledge or your expertise. So I don't care what arena this is. This this could even be in mom life or, I mean, it can be literally anything, but spend some time to improve your knowledge or expertise. If you're trying to like scale and you're trying to get better, just kind of doing the same things um, consistently, that's good. But if you're trying to scale and grow, you want to be doing something every day to improve your skill and knowledge. So whatever that is, whether that's, you know, um, purchasing and going through online courses, whether that is working, working with a coach, whether that's reading, whether that's processing something that you have read and then maybe, you know, working on your own personal training skills, say if you have a team, if you're in network marketing like I am, um, something to improve your knowledge and expertise. It could be, gosh, it can really be anything. So Ashley says, PD, you got a girlfriend. Hi, Jenny. All right, so really anything to improve improve your skill level. And I want to say, I mean, you don't, you don't have to like be the end all be all expert, but I hope that makes sense. If you're really trying to expand and grow, you need to have more, like more skills and expertise. And it can be little incremental pieces, but you want to take the time to add on to add to your own repertoire. I hope I'm making sense, but I will give the caveat that I have this rule for myself. So every single day I do something, whether it's part of my, you know, in my morning routine or at some point during the day I'm listening or reading or consuming something that's going to add to my level of knowledge, whether it have to do with blogging, whether it have to be with marketing, email marketing, whatever it might be, I'm doing that. But then my rule for myself is if I consume a new piece of training and something to add to my expertise, I have to take an action out of that. Sorry, I'm like clapping really loud, Uh, but I have to take an action out of that new knowledge because all the learning without any action is going to get you nowhere really fast. You're just going to be super knowledgeable and smart with like no business growth. So when you're adding to your knowledge and expertise, make sure that you're taking actions out of that. That's always, that's the rule for myself. And it's kind of, I don't know, once I started doing that, I feel like I kind of kept pace with my action versus learning versus getting in some sort of weird learning hole to grow my business. So, oh, hi, Ash. All right, so that kind of gets me to, oh, that's kind of related to number five. So number four, and again, so those first three, uh, taking time for yourself, growth and personal development, and then adding to your expertise and knowledge are all things that really, really anyone can use in their life. Now, number four is a little bit more specific to all of my online business builders. So if that's you, if you put a raised hand emoji in the comments earlier, this is for you. So getting in front of people. So getting in front of people and adding value. So getting yourself in front of people and adding value consistently. So you can be super great. Your products can be super great. Your business opportunity can be super great. Your blog, your coaching services, whatever it might be, can be awesome. And I'm sure they are. But if you're not getting yourself in front of people who could be your potential clients or business partners or just people to serve and build relationships with, you're not, that's not going to count, right? So you can be as great as you possibly want to. You can have all these great things to offer people, but if you're not in front of people consistently showing up and providing value in the online space, then it's all really a big pile of nothing. I hate to say it a little bit of tough love. So getting in front of people and showing up. So, and and part of that is really connecting. And this is sort of almost a separate point, but part of that is connecting with people that you're genuinely interested in and intrigued by, and you would potentially love to do business with in some capacity. So I don't know particularly what your business is, but building relationships and showing up consistently is kind of all one big package. And that's something that's really, really important if you're trying to scale your business is not to go away and like work in a little work hole if you're trying to scale. So 
making sure that you're consistently showing up. I mean, consistent consistency I could go off on for a couple of hours about how important it is just in general in life to any kind of success, but particularly in business success. It's just doing those daily, doing the do daily consistently um, and just showing up and that's what's gonna lead to success. You can think of it almost like, I think about working out all the time, parallels to working out and life, I'm, I'm a weirdo, but if you were to work out, like say you hit the gym super hard for like a week or a month and you're like, yeah, I'm doing this, I'm going to the gym, I'm like on a program, I'm following a program, and I'm like, you know, going four or five times a week, super intense, awesome, rocking it, and then you just kind of like eased off the gas and then started working out like once a week again. At the end of a year, you're they're not really gonna have much improvement, right? But had you stuck to that month of intensity for a year, whoa, at the end of the year, you would be looking at them in the mirror and like, whoa, look at, you know, look at me and look at, you know, how strong I am and what I've accomplished. Same thing with your business. Doing all of these things that, you know, all of these um, activities and showing up and building relationships and pouring into yourself, pouring into others, providing value, all of those things. If you do that consistently over time, that's when you're going to create momentum in your business. And that's when you're really going to see magic and success and results in time. But it takes that time and it takes that consistency. So just like you wouldn't work out for a month hard and then stop, you don't want to hit your business hard and then stop. You want to pick a pace to do all of these daily success habits at and keep with that pace over time. Don't do something that's outside of the time that you have or the time that you can make. If you're in a really busy season um, and you think you're just going to go out and like crush it and try to like stay up until 3 a.m. five nights a week and you're going to maintain that, you're probably not. So pick a pace that you can be consistent at and do these types of things. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Stephanie. All right. So the next one again, so these ones are more specific to uh, my friends here who are building businesses online. Number five is just, I mean, this is like, this goes without saying, but whatever it is for your business, you probably have a, like a, a, I and for our team, we call it a DMO, like a daily method of operation. Those income producing activities within whatever field you're in, whatever your industry you're in, whatever company you're in, those DMOs that you need to do over and over again every single day to maintain and grow your business, just point blank. And if you don't know what those are, figure them out. So for us, we will have, we have anyone who's like on my, my slash our team gets like a tracker and like, you know, all the things like spoon fed, like here's what you need to do, but whatever those things are for you and you know what they are, right? You know, those activities where like, eh, okay, like I don't love this, but I know this would grow my business. Those are the things that you still want to do. Maybe they're mundane or kind of, um, what would you call that? I guess like mundane activities that are not necessarily like the glitzy, really exciting stuff, um, but the things that you know you need to do. So when you're working on building your business and scaling your business, I think sometimes we think about like, oh, I'm going to create a brand. I'm going to like make business cards. I'm going to make a website. I'm going to do all of this um, like fancy schmancy type of stuff that you would want to have eventually when you get to the point in your business where you know, you would want to have that, but I would say to prioritize the kind of daily income producing activities in the foundational stuff, do that. And then my sixth point, if this, I hope this is making sense. If it is, show me some hearts if it's making any sense at all. Uh, but this is just how my brain works and what's worked for me over the past few years of building an online brand and scaling it and all of those things. So lastly, so if you, kind of the other thing that you do want to be doing if you're wanting to scale, in addition to those kind of daily grindy activities, in addition to your personal development and taking time out for yourself and adding to your level of expertise is then working on, working on those things that you would want when you get to that next level. Okay. So you don't want to get to the next level in your business. And then you're like, Oh my gosh, I have to spend like two weeks solid backing off everything else and putting together my website or whatever it might be. So whether that's um, daily lives. So say you're working up to the point in your business where you want to be able to have the time freedom to show up more consistently with lives because lives are a huge business builder. 
for no matter what you're doing nowadays, I mean, you guys have probably seen, or lives or videos, you've probably seen the, what it was he, a dentist or like an orthodontist. He has the best marking. I can't remember his name. If anyone knows, let me know. But his, his video, his marketing video was like absolutely viral. Um, anyway, so off on a tangent about videos and lives and things like that. But if you're trying to work to a point where you have the time freedom to do daily lives or something like that, doing a few lives a week would be something that you would want to do so that once you're once you're reaching that scaled place that you're trying to get to whether that's six figures or multiple six figures whatever that is in your business work on those things that would be important once you're at the level that you want to be at so if you want to have a podcast if you'd like to have a blog if you'd like to learn email marketing um you know building a website those things that you want to have at that next level work on those you know a little bit but don't take your entire work time to work on those things all the time at the expense of all these other daily success activities. So really that's it. I mean, when you're building an online business, your job for yourself is really to build momentum. And the way that you build momentum is consistency with the activities that are going to like produce, I don't know, that you do over and over again and that's what's gonna lead to your results. That's what's gonna lead to a wave of momentum that you create for your for yourself. Um, I think that that's a huge lesson that I've learned over the last, especially over the last year, is you know if you're if you're like me and you are within a network marketing company, you don't need to wait for a wave of momentum in your company. You can create it yourself, but it takes showing up daily, doing these consistent activities. Provi or providing value, pouring into yourself so that you can pour out into others and provide value um, and serving other people. So doing all of those things will create your own momentum. It really will. And it just takes kind of continuing to do that and trusting in the process. So I hope that, that, I hope that that's somewhat helpful, those six daily kind of success behaviors. I hope that they're applicable to you. I know they've been super helpful to me and I've tried to sort of over time compile what I thought might be helpful. Um, I don't often share kind of business related information on my personal page, but I may start doing it a little bit more. I've noticed I have a lot more friends here who are also in um, other companies or realtors or um, gosh, I mean, there's so many people that are building a personal brand and that's what I love teaching about. Um, and so if you're interested in more of this information from me and actually also from my, my biz partner, Kiri Perry, we have a group called the Modern Mompreneur Lounge and it will soon be kind of a more expanded, um, I don't even know what you would call it, like a, an expanded VIP type of deal. But right now we have a free group. It's really awesome. There are female online entrepreneurs from all over the world and internet space and variety of different companies. And we just pour a ton of free value as far as trainings on all the things, like literally all the things that have helped us to be successful in our various kind of online endeavors. We're pouring into that group and we'll continue to do more so. So if you're interested in more of this type of content from me, I would love to see you over in Modern Mompreneur Lounge. I will drop a link um, in the comments once I hop off. I meant to, I meant to do that in the description, but that's not a daily success behavior is to remember how to create an appropriate live title apparently. So if you're interested, I will drop a link in the comments or if you wanna drop MML, so capital MML, I will shoot you over personally the link to that group. We would love to see you there. Um, Anyway, that's really all I have for you. If you are building an online business, get after it. I'm excited for you. I love to see people just, you know, sharing the value that only they can. It's really exciting. I feel like I have so many friends that are just absolutely showing up on a daily basis and serving other people with really the value that, that they have within them, um, that they've been born with and also that they've developed in order to share with others. Um, and it's just really exciting to see. So keep doing your thing. I'm really proud to know each and every one of you and I'm thankful for your time tonight. Hope you have a fabulous weekend and I will talk to you all very soon. All right, bye.